so ways to quiet. Um, the, the topic I'm talking about is, is uh, I'm looking at similarities between the Zen workshop I did and the work that I do. And one of the things, one of the questions I ask people is, are you the same or different right now? And a lot of times I'll get interpretations, a lot of times I'll get, um, well, I was just doing, and I'm, I say, yes, I, I, I don't really care what you were doing, I'm asking whether you're the same or different. The, the intention is to see, can we get you to present time consciousness to where the only thing that exists is you? And it's not an easy thing to do, because that mind, that enculturated little voice inside your head, wants to keep you in these uh, reptilian thought press processes that do not enhance your own vitality. And um, the Zen master said, sit a couple of times a day and just look and see who is experiencing this. Uh, one way to become more of you is to go places where people don't know you. Uh, and then you can try out different characters. And I have the great good fortune of being able to travel Frequently, we're currently in Barcelona, where my son is going to school. And uh, when I get to an ocean, I swim out. I just swim out as far as I'm allowed to, or as far as I want to. It depends upon the ocean. There are buoys that uh, kind of stop you. There don't seem to be any authorities who say you can't go any further. So I, I swim out, and you see things out there you don't know. You know jellyfishes and things like that. And you steer clear of those, of course. But I was swimming out in this bay by myself and I turned on my back and to look at the skyline behind me and Barcelona has a, a great setup for a city there's rolling hills in behind it and there was a, a tower on my left and then a group of trees that kind of dipped down and another building but settled in that was a castle way up on the top of the hill and it started it brought me right to present time consciousness and so I just kind of thought, who, who gets to do this? Who, who is experiencing this? Again, I, my mom and dad got together years ago, quite a few years ago now, and created my brother and I simultaneously, my twin brother and I, or pretty much simultaneously. Uh, and, but that, that is the physical part of it. That isn't who created this consciousness. It's not who created this magnificent life. It's not who creates appreciation, but who is it? And, then, and if you can step yourself out into curiosity and wonder by noticing small things and going, what the? It, it, it will stop your mind. It will bring you out of your mind and into the magnificence that surrounds you. Uh, and it's all around you. Uh, for most people, and maybe not, Maybe not. For a lot of people on the planet, it, they are surrounded with magnificence. And if they can stop and drop into that appreciation from time to time, uh, it will continue and push things to happen more in that way. Uh, thanks for listening. www.micpeakperformance.com